Hello everyone. Uh, I just want to give an update on the, my uh, AL37 project. This one's in Air New Guinea. And I had the graphics done by uh, Kaylee Graphics. And just want to go over what I've done so far. Uh, it's not completed, but uh, give you an update. This model here uh, has been fiberglassed over the foam because I don't like the feel of foam. Every time you brush against it, it feels like you're digging chunks out of it so this is a, a lot nicer and go over what I've done as you can see you know, it's a lot more harder surface and this one has been fiberglassed in uh, three quarter ounce I think it's like 23 grams per square meter or square yard and and I, of course, I, uh, I painted it in uh, acrylic enamels. Uh, the wing is, these are actually Boeing gray. Um, I have some aircraft parts that I had then took down to the local paint shop and had them scan it in. It seems to be uh, a hard color to um, find colors um, mixing. So you know, since I had the actual aircraft part, I just took it down there and had them scan the part. And, this is the actual color. For those who are wondering what kind of gray I use, well, that's the actual Boeing uh, back 707 uh, gray. Alright, the graphics were not too hard to apply. You have to take careful measurements and then put it down. And it's a big ass model, so you kind of have to take your time. And then of course there's a bird of paradise on the tail. And of course I still have to paint the leading edges of everything silver. I haven't decided yet if I'm just going to use paint. Or uh, the same stuff you use when you install air conditioning. The, the aluminum that's on the sticky backing. Put it down here. I don't know yet. I don't got time for that. Let's finish up everything first. And go from there. And otherwise the uh, model turned out well. And I just wish I would have used some spackling here on the joints instead of just a fiberglass over there. Yeah. But all in all, that's fine. Most people don't even bother with that. You know, most people don't even fiberglass the, their models. And they just uh, apply paint on top. Uh, but then again, because I don't like the feel of foam. And if you're going to spend that kind of money... Uh, Purchasing a model like this, you might as well just go ahead and uh, fiberglass it, then you can uh, use any kind of paint on top of it. Like this one here with acrylic enamel. And, and uh, it just makes for a nicer, longer lasting model. Unless you crash it, of course. Even then, if you crash it, once you've had that done, uh, you'll still have a stronger model that won't shatter into a million little pieces of foam. And of course, I got to do the engine here. This is also been uh, fiberglass. The intake will then hold up a lot nicer. You see a lot of these guys, their models are all chewed up on the front. And this won't happen with here. This is nice and strong now. And as far as the weight weenies go, uh, there's hardly any, hardly even feel any difference. You know, uh, just, but everything feels a lot stronger. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, has a much nicer feel. Yeah, more of a Something that'll last feel instead of cheap foam. Feels like you, you know, you have a, a foam, uh, like a foam uh, peanuts, you know, type feel. It's just crunchy, uh, but not anymore. And so servos also I replaced, uh, or I'm going to replace with metal uh, digital servos. And that's the other thing we're going to do on this. Everything's going to have a. Uh, dual battery backups because you know, I, I don't want any kind of in-flight failure and running one for the receiver or one for the you know for the motors I'm just running that way and what's the next thing we're going to do on this uh, oh yeah I'm going to replace the wheels the, the you know the tires uh, I don't like that hard foam 
use some Dubro wheels. I got some of them ordered. I'm not going to put the two and three quarter side. That's not a to scale. The scale would be two and a quarter, so I'm going to compromise. I'm going to go two and a half. Slightly bigger than what scale if it was a real aircraft, but not as big as the two and three quarter foamies that come on here. So I'm going to use Dubro low bounds. And, and of course, before I fly it, I'm, since I haven't flown in quite a while, I'm going to practice on my uh, junkie trainer. I don't want to spend the time uh, putting something like this together, only to go out and uh, wipe it out. That's, that's stupid. You know, I'm not in a hurry. I've already spent a month, a little over a month on this, on this project here. And in some ways, I enjoy the build more than I do the fly. Yeah. It's flying can, if you haven't done it in a while, it can be nerve-wracking, so, but I'll just fly my junker, uh, if it crashes, meh, big deal, no big deal. But something like this, you don't want to spend your time, you know, and your, of course, your money, you know, just to go out and be in a hurry, and then to go and crash, that's, that's not worth it. Yeah, so, all right, well, let's see, I'm gonna, the other things I'm going to have to do on this, of course, is, I gotta finish painting up the, the winglets. And the bottom is purple, the top is is red with a gold stripe. And of course the leading edges. The Boeing Gray Pylon. That's gonna be painted the same color. And of course you got your intakes, you gotta do them. And then you know, the leading edges, like I mentioned. And I finish up the decal work. This is not completed yet. There's still more graphics that have to go on there. And, you know, finish up the other side. And, see what else. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, one thing I will say, even though I fiberglassed the wings all the way up into the root and inside the fuse lot, that's actually slipped on pretty good. And I thought I was worried that there would be overly tight fit. Nope. And slid right in there, I guess, because of the slickness of the uh, of the finish. Okay, I'm getting some kind of warning here on my camera. I guess the flash got turned off for whatever reason. And didn't like that on too long. Well, okay, well, enjoy this video. And when I get it done, uh, I'll put a second part. Well, let me back up so you can get a full view. Alright, there we go.